Hi there, this is Michael. Today I'm going to be showing you how to grade a hypothesis-enabled reading uh, in, in every LMS except Canvas. Uh, so if you're a Blackboard user, Moodle, Sakai, D2L, or Blackboard, um, you, you, this will be identical um, in, 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 in whatever LMS you're using. Uh, so I've already made a hypothesis assignment. This hypothesis assignment has a, a grading bar up at the top of the assignment. So you can see above my assignment, which is a web page and the hypothesis sidebar, I also have this thing that tells me the uh, assignment name, a uh, grading example, the course it's in, MD testing, and then shows me the student uh, drop down, a place to insert grades. We'll talk about all that. Um, if you're not getting this uh, grading bar, then it's possible you did not enable it in your LMS or your LMS admin uh, didn't enable it. it who has to enable it changes depending on the LMS you're in, so refer to our uh, documentation or reach out to our support team with any questions. Uh, all right, so I have made an assignment. Students have already been in here annotating. I can see that model student has made an annotation. It has a reply from our professor and a reply from a student whose name is Class Clown. Class Clown also left their own annotation here in the text, so this is great. This is a great start. Um, in the middle of the grading bar, I see that two students have visited the assignment and my student dropdown has those have those students uh, name in it already. And so st more students will appear in this dropdown once they visit the assignment for the first time. Uh, but I know that out of all my class, only these two students have been in here so far. Let's click on model student. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter the sidebar uh, to only show model students annotation. I can choose to show all or show more in the conversation if I want the context for these annotations and see what other people said, and maybe that'll help inform my grading. Uh, model student did pretty well with this assignment, and I can see I gave him a five out of 10, but let's just say I changed my mind. I'm gonna give him a six out of 10. So I'm gonna put six in here and click submit grade. I can't submit grades for all students, so if you're having trouble ins inserting a grade here, make sure you have a student selected. Um, now that I've graded uh, model student, I can also grade my other student, uh, class clown. Again, selecting that student is gonna filter the sidebar so I only see class co clown's contributions. I can see the annotation they left. I can also see the reply they made to someone else. This was great. Even though this is class clown, I, they really stepped it up for this assignment. They're gonna get a 10 out of 10. So I gave them a 10. We'll submit grade, that gets pushed to my elements. Um, the, the tool that Hypothesis uses to make our, to make our app available in all LMSs requires us to submit grades out of 10, which is why our grading bar is always gonna be out of 10 here, um, at least until changes are made to that tool. Um, your, your LMS may have a different point value associated with the assignment. So for example, if your assignment's worth 100 points, then giving a 10 out of 10 is the same as giving 100 out of 100. If I gave a 9.5 out of 10, well, that would give my student a 95 out of 100. Same thing if your assignment is worth. Uh, five points or 200 points or whatever you want. There's always going to be a little math involved here. Um, I, I, uh, I, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about the uh, grading bar or anything else with the LMS app, please reach out to our support team. Thanks very much.